Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I'm just going to do a quick sound check. So if you can hear me, please use your chat box just to type yes, so that I know that we're live and we're loud and we're clear. I hope everybody's well. Let's have a look. Are we getting... Are we live? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. So just to introduce myself, my name is Chantelle Newton and I'm the marketing manager at the UK Contact Centre Forum and the editor of Contact Centre Monthly, our online e-magazine. Uh, after our presentation today, we will be holding a full Q&A uh, session. So if you do have any questions, please post them into the chat box that you've just used and I'll put your questions to our speakers. Uh, the webinar today is as expected to last for 30 minutes. If you're unable to stay for the whole session, the webinar is being recorded and the link will be emailed to all participants within 24 hours of the webinar ending. So we're going to get today's session started and I'm going to hand you over to our very own Trevor Butterworth, our founder and CEO for the UK Contact Centre Forum. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you, Chantel. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining myself and Steve Messenberg for our web chat, webinar today, where we would like to introduce to you a new initiative that the UK CCF have launched in partnership with industry colleagues for the contact centre sector in 2022. The UK CCF Coaching and Mentoring Programme. We have designed a programme that will provide one-to-one -one and group support for the contact centre management team that incorporates impartial and independent support for career development. We are operating an interesting times. Recruitment and retention is high on most contact centre priority lists and anything that you can add to attract and retain and develop key personnel to your business is to your advantage. I would now like to introduce you to Steve Messenberg, who is heading up this programme for the UK CCF. We will now run through the programme in more detail. Over to you, Steve. Thank you, Trevor. I'm just going to put my camera on. Let me see if it works. Is that working, Chantal? We've got it on there. Yeah, so I, I can see you. Perfect. Hi, thank you for joining us, everybody. Um, it's, I'm really pleased you could uh, you could join us today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Steve Messenberg. I've, I've had over 30 years um, experience in people leadership, um, and over the last 12, I've, for 20 years of those, I was global customer service director for Merlin Entertainment, who so some of you will know as the second largest visitor attraction company in the world, um, owning places like Orton Towers, Thorpe Park, Madame Tussauds, and places like that. Um, and my role there was to look after and, and grow the business in, as, 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 from the, um, on the customer service side. So managing and operating global customer service centers. Um, so I know from my experience how important it is to have people leadership, getting the right people in, keeping the right people um, and supporting people uh, in order to make sure that your teams and your business is, is running successfully. So I'm absolutely delighted to be part of this program, and you know, thank Trevor for in, inviting me. Um, it's a great opportunity, for, I think, for me as well, with my years of experience, to be able to share my extensive knowledge and experience to the industry, an industry that I know I know really well. Uh, and when I left Merlin about three years ago, I set myself up as as a coach, um, and I coach people of all different levels. So this is a really exciting program. So I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to to working with. Uh, hopefully um, a, um, a few of you as we go through um, the next year or so. Um, so Chantel, if we go to the first slide, I'll talk you through what the program's all about. So if you can, I'll turn my camera off so we can see it properly, if that's all right. Um, there we go. Turn the camera off. There we go. You had enough of my face. There we go. Okay. So what's the UK um, coaching and mentoring program all about? Well, it's, there are a lot of coaching and mentoring programs out there for various different uh, groups of people from all different industries. But this one is, is totally specific for our industry, for the, the call center world. Um, and that's important to us. At a time where it is, is so important at the moment with all the changes and everything that's gone over the last, the last couple of years, to keep people together, to share industry standard ideas and getting people working together. Is, is, is really important. And this program's designed for all different levels of 
and our, within our industry. So directors, heads of department, team managers, team supports, um, team leaders and super agents as we call them as well. Anybody that we feel we want to, to work with or you want them to, us to work with to help your departments, your industry, your businesses grow. And a key thing is retaining people. As we know, uh, and I'll talk about this as we go through, there's been so many changes over the last couple of years uh, with people being furloughed, people leaving businesses, uh, people going on and doing other things. Um, and we've lost a lot of expertise with our, within, within our industry. And that's quite sad. Um, and with, if, if you've got good people, you want to keep them. So this, this program is designed to try and support and help those people and support you as well with your health and well-being strategy, which everybody has now, you know, supporting people through times of change. But it also allows people to have that peer group support from around the industry. And that's important, as you know, and with, again, mentioned again in a minute, when they talk about where we have um, people working within our own departments, working in our own call centres. And a, a lot of you will be working in departments in areas where you're a part of the business and sort of, a un, sort of a necessary evil, if you like, where you're just left to your own devices and often reporting into parts of the business that have no idea on how customer service centres work. That's not the case in all industries, by the way, but in some of them they are. And you, it can be a bit of a lonely place. And by working on, with, a, with a coach and mentor during this programme, and with a peer support group from around the industry, it should give you the confidence and the experience to be able to make a move forward. And as a bottom bit there, we say this is led by um, industry professionals, expertise with knowledge around the sector. At the moment, I'm starting this program off um, as, as one person with um, hopefully a couple of groups from uh, London and South East, which Trevor will talk about, and then other people from around the industry will hopefully come on board and join us as we go through. But they'll all be industry professionals with a great deal of expertise and a great deal of knowledge that we can impart around the business. So Chantelle, if you could go to the next slide, please. We've got a couple of slides here. This first one on how the programme works. So um, it's, it's a 12 month programme. It's a rolling programme. So you'd sign up for, um, for, the, for the 12 months, but you can roll on over two years if you wanted to. If you found it beneficial, we found it helpful. And the group sizes are between 10 and 15, depending on, on, the, on the sector the, and the, and the, the um, level of the people working uh, within, within those particular groups. And what you'll get is in the first month that you sign up for this, you'll get a one-to-one -one individual coaching, mentoring session with your coach mentor. And that's done by Zoom or Teams or whatever, whatever you use. Um, and you'll get an hour, hour and a half coaching to talk about anything you want to, anything you want to about business, life, whatever it is. And if you need support and help, you'll have that support from, from a coach mentor or, and you'll have the same coach mentor right the way through the program. You'll get the mentor support say, through the coach, and, and then the, se the second month, we'll get the peer groups together. So you'll be part of a group of 10 or 15 and we'll get you together in the second month at a hotel probably in London or a venue in London, one of our suppliers or what have you in London uh, for a half day session, round table session, where we will discuss and resolve your problems. And we'll pick those out from the one-to-one -one, one -to -one individual sessions and we'll do round tables, discuss how um, you've solved those problems in the past and try and help you resolve those, those issues. So when you go back to the workplace, you've got an idea of, 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 of how you can get on with things. And sharing the successes and advice within your peer groups is so important. You know, you can try to share your successes within your own industry sometimes can be quite difficult. But when you've got people in your own, from your own sector, your peer group sector, sector you can work and talk around things together. You can take those share learnings back to your business and help your own departments grow. And you're gonna get your support. The support from that peer group is gonna be really important. You'll get to know people from around the sector um, that do the same type of job as you. And although you've got your mentor that you can turn to at any time and have those discussions with, you've also got your peer group that you're going to get to know over that 12 month period to, get to help you with support and advice as you go through as you go through this program. So um, if you go to the next slide, please, Chantel, we've got two slides now which will um, show you what the benefits are. One for the individuals, sort of people that are going to go uh, on this program but also for the business. So those of you out there that are thinking of putting people on this program, what are the benefits to your business by putting people on there? So for the individuals, it's gonna provide you with a panel of peers um, 
to experience and leverage your ideas and your and, and, and the way that the way that you work. As I said just now, you know, often people work individually within their own businesses, especially call centre directors, maybe call centre managers, maybe some team leaders as well, where you're working on your own. Um, you maybe don't have the support around the business that you would like. And by having a panel of peers that you can work with and talk to at any time, pick up the phone, you know, your mentor you can talk to, it's going to give you that um, that support that you might not get within your own your own workplace. Sharing best practice amongst your peers. Again, similar to what we said just now, but it's so nice to be able to share and support each other as you go through, as you go through these, this, this, this program. Sharing issues with non-competing and confidential peer group. Well, that's quite important. What we're going to try and do is when people sign up to this, we're going to look very closely at the in industry that you're working and the type of sector that you're in so that we'd have no uh, no uh, sort of interfering competition between you and maybe somebody else on that peer group we move people around so for example maybe if you've got two people from two different banking um, companies then we'll probably just put one on one group and one on the other but the important thing here as well as a group it's confidential you know your anything you discuss within the one-to-ones or within your peer group needs to be completely confidential uh, and for you having a coach mentor that you can talk to away from your own business in a confidential way, knowing that nothing's going to go back unless you want it to, um, then you've got that support and help and you've got that ear that you can bend at any time uh, when, when, when problems arise. What I will say on that as well, if, if an issue does arise at work uh, and we have those conversations within the one-to-one -one or within the peer group and you need support taking that to your managers or your, your, your board to, to be able to, to try and resolve those issues, are more than happy coach you train you to be able to go and deal with that yourself or if you want need me there with you to help you talk to um, difficult people at times then that's open for you as well but that's something that we can do as, as we go as we go through the program so it's having that confidential um, those confidential conversations which is really key breaks down the isolation at the top as we said just now you're working on your own a lot of the time and having that 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 peer group that mental support around you as well um, breaks that isolation piece down a little bit and makes you feel more supported and part of a wider team. It helps your own career development and that's important. You know, it helps you learn from other sectors or other companies within your sector so that you can develop yourself. You can learn from other people on how they do things. You can see other businesses, how they work and it'll open your eyes up to um, other industries maybe for your career development in the future. It helps you with the stresses and strains of the job. And we all know how difficult it's been the last, the last two years um, during the pandemic. There's been so many changes. You know, all, uh, some, some of you would have had people working in office environment uh, within your call centers. All of a sudden they're working from home um, and you're trying to keep the morale going, trying to keep the support going, the training going and all that sort of thing during the, that, that difficult time. There's been so much change, laying people off, um, putting people on furlough, trying to retain people, trying to recruit new people, all that sort of thing. It can be really stressful. Um, but working with your mentor and with your, your panel of peers, then you can support each other through that. Um, and as, again, at the bottom there, we put about having that external experienced professional mentor. Your mentor coaches will all be people that have worked within our industry, within our sector, and have all been there and they can all give that support and help for any individuals in, in, in moving forward. So that's individuals. If we can go on to the next slide then for, um, for businesses. So what's in it for the businesses? If you want to put people on this program, what are the benefits for you? The benefits really retaining your good people. A lot of you would have put people on furlough, would have lost good people over the last couple of years. Um, and You've got some really good people there you're worried about. You want to keep them within your business. You want to make them feel valued and you want to give them support to be, to be able to keep and retain those good people. And by sending them on this program or put them on the program, they will become better leaders um, and they can make better decisions. Without that isolation piece of being on their own or without support, by getting industry peer group support and ideas, it will make your people better leaders. And they will make better decisions as they go through to go go through go through this program. So they will share and learn from that peer group as well. 
uh, with other people around. And it, it just makes sure that your good people have got that um, external support from around the sector. It supports your company succession planning strategies. A lot of those have gone out the window over the last couple of years. We know that. Uh, I'm not saying everybody has that, but I'm, certainly a lot of the individuals or companies that I'm working with at the moment, their succession planning has gone. And we want to make sure that if you've got a good person within your business, whether it's a team leader, director, um, whatever, a manager, whatever they are, that you've got people underneath them who can step into their shoes and take over if that person leaves the business. So this program will help you support those good people um, so that you can develop them and make them your directors, managers for the future. It's supporting people through time of change as well. And that, as I said just now with the individuals, it's been really difficult for people to, to handle some of the changes that have gone over the, over the last couple of years. And there's still a bit of a hangover going on out there with, with change, um, especially with the people piece and trying to get people in. Um, and this will support your people through times of change by working with the mentor, with the experiences they've got, but also working with peer groups and understanding they're not on their own. There are other people with exactly the same problems from around the sector. And bringing the, all these people together is, is, is important. It supports and retains your high achievers, as we said just now, but it will also help you to performance manage any underachievers or anybody who's struggling or recovering from any personal life changes. You know, we all know the health and well-being programs we've got out there and trying to support people through times of change and personal, personal life changes. Uh, we want to support those good people and keep them. So it's not just for high achievers, it's for people out there who need support. Something may have happened in their lives um, that, has, that has affected them at work and they need some support and help. And this program will give them exactly that. Part of the things that I do as a coach is working with people who've lost, lost confidence, have lost their way in life, um, who don't know where they're going in their career. And this program will support that as well within, within this sector. And I said there, this, this um, um, program will support the, the, um, the strategy of the health and the health and wellbeing programs that you will have within your business. So that's my bit. I hope a lot of you will sign up for this. I'm really excited by it. I know Trevor is as well. Um, and, you know, I, I really look forward to working with any of you that, um, that want to, to join the programme. So I'm now going to hand you back to Trevor, who will tell you what the next stages are. Thank you, Steve. That was very good. Thank you very much. Um, so basically, who can attend? Well, it's open to anyone working within call, call or contact centres. You don't have to be a member of the UK CCF, so it is open to all organisations. At the moment, we're launching it in the London and South East region, but we do have plans to take it UK wide. Uh, we obviously want to get it established, get it proven uh, and make it work. Uh, and as you can see there, yeah, we're going to be expanding to other regions. We're aiming to get the first groups uh, up and running, ideally by the end of April, the second group in early May, um, and obviously reviewing uh, everything as we go along. There is a cost involved. Uh, I'm happy to share with you uh, information on that. Um, and obviously, if you are interested in signing up, feel free to give me a call and we can talk it through and get Steve involved and tailor it to your own individual needs. One thing I will say is one of the reasons that we've set this program up is based on the feedback that I've been getting over the last one to two years from our members and non-members saying hey we would love to have a mentor program or i would love to have a mentor and i've listened to that and the demand has been so high hence why we're now investing some time and effort into getting this mentor program up we have three other mentors waiting to get involved so these are people like steve who have been in the industry for a number of years I've got a wealth of experience and can bring value to both your career and to the business. So I think on that, what I'd like to do is perhaps open it up to questions. If any of you have any questions, then uh, I'm sure between myself and Steve, hopefully we'll be in a position to, uh, to answer them for you.
That's great. Thank you, Trevor. So like Trevor said, if you've got any questions, please pop them into your chat box um, and I'll post them to uh, both Trevor and Steve. Um, so we've got a couple of questions coming in. Um, Steve, this one's probably for you. How long will each coaching session last and what format will they take? I know you covered sort of how long it will last, but what sort of format are you looking to stick to? OK, so for the individual, for the one to one sessions, um, they're normally based on about an hour, an hour and a half session, uh, which we're run on Zoom um, or on on Skype, which, whichever, whichever Teams or whatever, whichever one you use. And, and the format really depends on on you and what your needs are. Um, I do this day to day coaching with people, um, and every one of them's different. But we will look at how you are, uh, what's changed since the last time we spoke. Uh, we'll get an idea of any issues and problems that you have, and we'll talk through them. Um, we will go through the difference between coaching and mentoring and stuff like that so that you've got an idea of, uh, of you know, I'm not, I'm not going to give you all the answers. Some of it will be will be coaching for you to come up with the answers as well. Um, and then if you've got any um, issues or problems when we when we have our one to ones um, and I can't resolve them or I think it's something that we can use within our group session with your permission, we'll take those forward to our group sessions the following month. And, and use those with your peer group to try and resolve those issues. That's that great, thank that. you. I hope so too. I think that sort of leads on to the next question. Um, so will you be able to reach out to your mentor or to members of your group between meetings if something happens in your day-to-day -day work? So when you're uh, in between either your peer group meetings or, or the one-to-one -one sessions? Absolutely. Um, so, I don't know about other coaches and mentors, but um, I certainly am open for, you know, I know we have that hour session or hour and a half session, whatever it is, uh, once every other month. If problems arise during that time and when we meet again, either for the, the group session uh, or the next one to one, I'm always open. Uh, you know, I, I would, you'll have my personal phone number. You can call me. If I don't answer it, I'll call back or just email me. You know, not every time, every minute of the day, but um, mm -hmm. there is that support there for you. And this and this program will help with that. And I know most coaches and mentors do that to support people because you need it ad hoc. And also with your peer group, your peer group is there for you to to build a relationship with. You know, you will get to know this peer group extremely well over the next over the next year. Um, and you'll get to a point where you won't want to talk to me. You want to talk to somebody else within your peer group and get that support and advice. Um, so that's the whole idea of this is bringing people together. And, you know, you'll be you'll become friends. Um, you'll have people you can talk to for uh, to help you resolve any issues. Um, and you've got that support mechanism both ways. So, yes, absolutely. Great. Thank you. Um, just a question around uh, the topics. So how will the topics for the peer group sessions be decided? Again, we're saying just now with the one to ones, um, there will be issues that come up in those individual one to ones. And if we've got a if I've got a group or we've got a group between sort of 10 and 15 people, there may be out of that sort of three or four issues um, that we would want to talk about within that peer group meeting that we have every other month. And we'll discuss those as a group. Uh, we'll do a round table where we go around with we'll, we'll find out what the issue is, get everybody to have their view, their opinion. Um, and then come up between us with a with a solution. So uh, we'll take those as they come through those one to one sessions. That's great. Thank you. Um, we've just got a couple of questions around confidentiality. Um, uh, obviously, that's going to be a big thing um, between different companies. So you mentioned that the the one to one group sessions are obviously confidential. What about peer group sessions? And will there be any sort of confidentiality agreements? Yes, there will be. Um, there will be a confidentiality agreement. You know, you are there to support and help each other. Um, we make that very clear when we have the peer group meetings. Sort of what goes on between those four walls stays in between those four walls. Um, and I would hope that the honesty that you'd all have and the relationship that you build up with each other that that confidentiality will will will, will stay with you and you can you can comfortably talk to people um, openly and freely within those forums. As a, as a professional coach and mentor, that's part of my ethos. The confidentiality piece is key. Um, I have a number of clients that put um, their people to me to coach. Um, certainly if I go, I've got a few director level people that I coach, mentor, look after, who have been put on to me by chairman of the boards. And I will not discuss any anything that I discuss with their with their board members. 
unless they want me to you know and that's as i said just now that's it that would be exactly the same with all these groups as well it's completely confidential you can speak as freely as you like to me but if there is an issue that you want help and support with and we um, um and you want us to talk to your line manager or whoever it is then that support is there as well but absolutely the confidentiality is is, is the key part of this Perfect, thank you. It is an integral part. I hope that answers your question. Um, just with regards to managers who may be looking to put their agents um, into the mentoring programme, how can they best support their team members that they put into the programme? The best, the best thing to do, I mean, we've all been mentored, we've had mentors, we've had people within our teams who've been mentored. When you have your one-to-ones with your the, the people that you put on this programme, have a discussion with them, ask them how they're getting on with them, ask them what support they would need um, with the help and advice that they've got. This should give you the opportunity for um, more of an open one-to-one -one discussion with your team member or the person that you put on this program. It should open up um, issues, questions. Your, your, your team member, your team leader, your manager, whoever they are, whoever you put on this course, will probably have more confidence in telling you the discussions they've had either with their mentor or within their peer group. Um, and I think it's key that you as managers ask what support you can give to help um, with, some, with some of the issues that, that, that may come up. After all, you're putting people on this course because you want to retain them, you want to support them, you want to help them. So it's key that anything that comes up from those one-to-one -one meetings or from um, the group sessions, if they want support and help, you're there to give it to them. That's great. Thank you. I hope that answers uh, that question. Um, so we've got a question around uh, guest speakers. Uh, might guest speakers sometimes be invited to the group meetings where an expert view on a particular subject would be of use to all its members? Yeah, we, we, we've already, we have discussed this actually, Trevor and I have um, had these conversations and there will be people um, who maybe aren't coaches, mentors, mentors yet or uh, are still fulfilling a, 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 another role. Um, who can give us some expert support and advice to the group. Um, and it could be that one of the, we, we could bring up a topic one day um, that needs some further investigation or some further discussion, and we can bring people in from the industry to come in and support um, and talk for a while at those particular events. It could be that we also use some of um, the supplier groups that we have, um, or that Tre Trevor has to use, for meeting facilities. And although they won't be part of this program, they're not there to sell to us, it could be that we bring those people in to, to have a quick discussion with us to talk about some various issue, different issues as well. So yes, we can put that sort of thing into the mix, which will make it a bit more exciting as well and broadens people's knowledge. Great, thank you. Um, Trevor, this is probably one for you. Um, so is there a specific definition of contact centre uh, that each company needs to adhere to? So i.e. how big they are, how many seats they've got, um, tech support, service, for etc. omni-channel, multi-channel, any sort of restrictions? Not really, no. I mean, from my point of view, I would say that if you deal with customers via the phone and multi-channel, uh, then you're eligible. I mean, organizations that we deal with we've got a few that only have four seats in their customer service team uh, and they would be eligible to get onto this program as well as organizations that we know of that have got two and a half thousand so the criteria is quite broad but if you do business and it is a customer service contact center function that you're supporting then this program is designed for you that's great, thank you. I hope that's answered all the questions. I'm going to sign off on that um, just because we're keeping this one as a, a 30 minute session. Um, so I'm just going to, let's get the information back up. I do apologise. It's normally Trevor the one that's allergic to technology, not me. <laughs> so true. <I> to... <laughs> yes. um, let's just, let's it's not behaving I do apologize I was going to put Trevor's uh, contact details back on but I can't get them on there so what I'll do is I'll make sure that Trevor's contact details are included in the follow-up email that's coming out to you um, within the next 24 hours that will include the um, link to this recording so if you do have anybody who you also will feel benefit from its content please feel uh, free to forward it to them um, I just want to say a big thank you to Steve and thank you to Trevor for joining us today to introduce this new initiative from the UK contact Centre 
Centre Forum. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you to everybody that's taken the time to join us today. As it says on screen, for more information on UKCCF, please visit our website, www.uk-ccf.co.uk. You can find all our events on there. We have a very exciting um, announcement that came out uh, Tuesday. Uh, we are our awards are back for 2022. The nominations open on Monday. Um, and uh, again, as it says there, if you've got any latest news, uh, etc., you can find that on our e-magazine Contact Centre Monthly, www.contactcentermonthly.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, have a lovely rest of your day and goodbye. Thank you, everybody.